Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on the Desert Task System. Today in this video, we'll be covering the easy tasks. Now, before we get going with these tasks, we're going to go over a few things which are the requirements and items needed in order to complete all the tasks. So first of all, for the quest requirements, you need to have completed Diamond in the Rough, Stolen Heart, and One Piercing Note. And as for skill requirements, you will need level 5 Hunter, level 14 Rune Crafting, level 21 Thieving, and level 7 Magic. As for the item requirements, you will need Desert Clothing, which can be purchased during the actual task, so don't worry about that at this very moment in time. Uh, you will need a Bird Snare. Um, I originally tried to use a Protein Trap, as I believe that would work, however it does need to be the Bird Snare, so you actually get the materials um, from the bird that you capture. You will need coins for magic carpet rides, uh, a knife, the knife in your tool belt will work though, uh, an empty water skin which again can be purchased during the walkthrough, you will need some rune or pure essence, you will also need the progress hat for the mage training arena, if you've never been to the uh, mage training arena before obviously you won't have the progress hat yet so don't worry about that, uh, you will also need a fire talisman or equivalent whether that be fire tiara or the wicked hood with a fire talisman imbued into it. Also, due to the activities you'll need to complete in the Mage Training Arena, you will need certain runes. Now, the one that I recommend the easiest is um, using the Telekinetic Arena, which requires you to use the Telekinetic Grab spell. So, obviously, uh, to complete the Telekinetic Arena, you will need sufficient lore and air runes in order to do that, so make sure you've got those with you as well. But that's it for the requirements and items. Now, onto the actual tasks themselves. So, first of all, the order that I'm going to go through in this video Video isn't the order you necessarily need to complete the task. The reason I do it in this order is just to make it a little bit easier in completing them all as one set. Um, that's obviously taking into account you've never completed any of the tasks. Now on that note, you may have found that you've already completed some of these tasks on your general sort of adventures across RuneScape. Um, so obviously if a task pop-up doesn't come up for a certain task, it could be you've already completed it. So what I recommend is looking which task you've already completed. And to do that, you need to click the Heroes tab, which is the helmet with the horns icon. Then uh, scroll over to where Achievements are. And obviously on the drop-down menu, you can select Desert. And any tasks that have got a gold tick next to it are ones you've already completed so it won't be necessary for you to complete those again. Anyways, enough about that, now on to the tasks themselves. So, um, like I said, you don't have to do the tasks in this order, but I advise doing it just to make it easier to complete. So, we're currently at the Alcarid Lodestone via the Lodestone Network, and the main majority, obviously, of these tasks will take place around Alcarid and the desert itself. So the first task we're going to complete is called Assassin's Feed, and that is to Eagle Dive into the Haystack. Now you should remember um, during the Stolen Hearts or Diamond in the Rough quest, either one of them, I can't remember off the top of my head, uh, you and Ozan traverse across the rooftops of Al Karid in order to infiltrate the palace. Now what you're going to do, you're going to do the same thing again, um, but this time what you're going to do is when you reach the roof, um, where you normally would have climbed across over to the palace, there's a a, um, hay cart that you can dive into um, which they call the eagle dive like from Assassin's Creed and all you need to do is dive into that and the task will be complete so obviously you need to go across all the rooftops and that again like you did in the quest which you can access by going upstairs uh, in the crafting building and then it's literally a case of getting across the rooftops. I won't bother talking you through it as it's pretty obvious how to get across to each area. There's either something to climb across or swing across or jump across, either one of them. But obviously just take note of the footage and then as you see once you get above uh, the Alcarid bank uh, there'll be the option to dive into the cart of hay that's on the ground below you and as soon as you do that the task will be complete. So the next task is called Cuckoo Kachat, and that is to talk to um, Kuchak, the para, about a quest. Um, now he is the para in the throne room of the Alcarid Castle. So literally all you need to do is go into Alcarid Castle itself, uh, and you'll find the para in the throne room, and then what you want to do is talk to him about a relevant quest, uh, go through some dialogue, and after you finish speaking to him the task will be completed. 
The next task is called Memento Mori, and that is to view the Jewel Arena scoreboard. Um, so that's very uh, self-explanatory. All you need to do is head over to the Jewel Arena, um, which is sort of northeast of Alcarid Lodestone. Uh, and as you go to enter the arena, there will be a scoreboard that you can literally just click to view. All you need to do is just obviously open the window and close it again. And once you've done that, the task will be completed. The next task is called Fire at Will, and that is to craft a fire rune at the fire altar. Uh, now you'll find the fire altar literally just near where the jewel arena is. Um, however, if you have a um, wicked hood on you, uh, you can choose to teleport to it, um, which just saves a little bit of time. If not, just obviously backtrack to the jewel arena, and then um, with either your fire talisman, fire tiara, or wicked hood present, you can enter the altar, and then with your rune or pure essence, and you only need one one of these uh, you can craft a fire rune at the fire altar and then the task will be completed the next task is called Extra Cheese, and that is to exchange Pizzazz points at the Mage Training Arena. Um, so, if you've never been to the Mage Training Arena before, it is located north of the Jewel Arena, so you're going to head in that direction now. Once you're at the Mage Training Arena, if you've obviously uh, done a bit of the Mage Training Arena before, all well and good, you don't need to worry about obtaining the uh, Progress Hat unless you don't have it on you anymore. Um, but if you've never been in here before, there is a person you can speak to at the entrance, um, a guide or tutorial, something like that, and basically he'll give you a quick overview of the Mage Trainer Arena and will provide you with a progress hat which will allow you to start obtaining Pizzazz points. Now, the actual task is to exchange some Pizzazz points uh, at the Mage Trainer Arena, which means we need to obtain some. So basically, there's four different arenas you can go into in the Mage Training, and there's sort of mini games to complete. The easiest one I find, and I've done it myself, in a uh, previous quest that involved uh, the Mage Train Arena uh, is the Teleconnectic uh, game and you'll obviously see that uh, by hovering over the relevant ladder and it will tell you which arena it sends you to. Once you enter, the purpose of it is to basically use the Teleconnectic Grab spell to move the statue uh, from one part of um, the maze to the other and obviously you'll be obvious to tell where you need to move the statue to. So what you need to do is pretty much stand adjacent to the direction you want the statue to move and then use Teleconnectic Grab on it uh, to pull it in your direction and the idea is to keep doing that until you get the statue to the other side of the little maze. Once you fully um, get the statue over to where it needs to go you'll be rewarded with some points. So the cheapest thing to uh, get is a lure room which costs two Teleconnectic points which you should get after completing one uh, maze with the little uh, pulling the statue. Uh, so literally once you have the two teleconnectic points you want to go back upstairs to the main lobby um, and then you can go upstairs again to the roof and there's a rewards guardian near the north of the mage training roof uh, literally speak to him uh, select to exchange it for a lore rune and once you've done that the task will be completed the next task is called Wiggle Room, and that's to form the Troubadour Dance emotes near the dancers outside the Cipharid Abbey. Um, so this requires the One Piercing Note quest completed, and you should remember uh, where the Abbey is from doing that quest. But for those who have forgotten, it is located east of um, Alcarid, past the Desert Strike Worms. And what you need to do, where all the dancers are outside, you need to do the actual Troubadour emote that you get as a reward from completing the quest. You can't just choose the dance with option that won't work so obviously in your list of emotes uh, scroll down until you find the troubadour one it took me a little while to find it due to all the emotes I've got uh, and obviously once you've done that emote uh, with the dancers the task will be completed the next task is called Touring Gear, and that is to equip a full set of desert clothing while standing in the desert. Uh, now, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you haven't got the desert clothing with you already, it doesn't matter because we can actually obtain that in the direction we need to go. So the desert is uh, located south of Shantae Pass, which we're going to head to now, and you can actually buy the set of desert clothing from Shantae at Shantae Pass. So literally trade with him, um, buy everything desert related so from the top of my head it's a desert top um, bottom boots and I think maybe gloves um, literally whatever he's got desert related to sell you buy that and then once you actually pass through the desert itself all you need to do is equip the full set of it while obviously standing in the desert and the task will be completed 
The next task is called Slash Fund, and that's to get water from a cactus in the desert using your knife. And you will also need an empty water skin. Again, you can get the water skin from Shantae uh, at Shantae Pass. And literally, all you need to do is there's various cactuses across the desert. All you need to do is select a slice one, and once you actually successfully um, get some water from the cactus into your water skin, the task will be complete. If you fail to do so, it won't obviously come up with task being complete. You need to actually have successful attempts of uh, of getting water from the cactus. The next task is called Don't You Dare Close Your Eyes and that has to use any of the magic carpets in the desert. So obviously there's one right near Shantae Pass. Um, now what I recommend is using this magic carpet to travel to the ruins of Uza as that is where the next task is going to pretty much take place. Um, so literally right click the travel merchant. Um, choose to go to Uza and after the cutscene and you've appeared, uh, the task will be completed. The next task is called Fool's Gold and that is to catch a golden warbler. Now these are found just east of the Dominion Tower and to the west of Uza, which is where we currently are. Now you'll need a bird snare to catch these, even though protein traps do catch them, you don't get the bird's meat and the feathers and bones from them and that is what you actually need to complete this task. I wasn't aware before I did that so just ignore the original footage. Um, so obviously once you get to where uh, the golden warblers are, all you need to do is set a bird snare up, uh, wait a couple of minutes for one to uh, land on it and as long as you successfully catch it the task will be completed. So the next task is called I like to watch and that is to attempt to spectate on a match at the Dominion Tower. So the Dominion Tower should be just near where you are now where the Golden Warblers are. What you want to do is enter the Dominion Tower and then um, climb the stairs and choose the spectator option. Now the task will be complete even if there is no one to spectate. All you need to do is attempt to spectate. So as soon as you click that doorway it will come up with a little pop-up message saying whether you can watch a battle or not. Uh, either way once you've done that task will be completed. So the final task is called Seems Legit and that is to obtain 5 artefacts from Pyramid Plunder and sell them to Simon in one go. Um, now if you've never done uh, Pyramid Plunder before, don't worry it's not that difficult. Uh, I'll explain literally the very simple way of finishing this task. So first of all, to access Pyramid Plunder, um, what you need to do is either A, travel to Safanum, which requires you to have started or completed its Clarence Little Helper, um, or you can purchase a Pharaoh Scepter from the Grand Exchange. I can't remember how much they cost off the top of my head, but you can use them to teleport to the Pyramid itself. But either way, uh, want to head to Safanum, so either by using the Magic Carpets, go from Shanty Pass to Polnaviak, and then from Polnaviak South, um, magic carpet to Safanum and then go through the gates uh, or alternatively use the Pharaoh Scepter. Either way speaks to you once you're there. Either way, once you're in Safanum, the pyramid which is nearest to the um, main gates, um, you'll find a guy called Tarek just outside. So what you need to do is go speak to him first. After going through some dialogue with Tarek, you'll now be able to actually enter the pyramid. Um, so what you need to do is try to enter in one of the four doors. Now, um, the one that actually contains the person we need to speak to is different for each player and actually changes over time. So all you need to do is keep um, attempting to enter through the different doors until you find an area where there is a mummy. Uh, and then you want to go speak to the guardian mummy and go through some dialogue with him. Um, and he'll basically tell you a little bit about uh, pyramid. Pyramid Plunder. So after going through some dialogue it should come up with an option saying I'm ready to give it a go and you'll start in a random Pyramid Plunder room. Now the idea of Pyramid Plunder is to find different artifacts and obviously that is part of the task here is to obtain five artifacts and you do that by searching the different things in each room. So there's vases to search but they also contain rattlesnakes that can poison you but don't worry the poison won't do that much damage to you in the time that it's going to take you to complete this task. Um, there's also chests that you can loot and there's also different parts of the walls that you can search as well that take you to different areas and be mindful obviously of the traps that are around as well. So literally all you need to do is keep searching all the different things to find um, some artifacts um, and obviously go to different rooms if you feel you need to. Um, once you have successfully obtained five artifacts we then need to exchange them to Simon.
So Simon can be found northeast of your location near the Agility Pyramid. Open up the map if you're not too sure where you're going. Um, but literally keep heading in a northeast direction and there will eventually be uh, the area where the Agility Pyramid is and there should be an option to climb down some rocks uh, and, and you should be able to see him. He's literally set up near a tent. Uh, and then what you need to do is talk to him and he'll say about um, exchanging artifacts and he'll give you the option to exchange all your artifacts in one go. Um, so literally click that option and as long as you've got the five artifacts in your inventory and you sell them to Simon in one go, the task will be completed. So, if that was the last task you needed to complete it, it should come up with a pop-up message. If not, it might have come up before, saying you've now completed all the easy tasks. If for any reason it hasn't come up with that message, it's either A, you've clicked through it too quickly, maybe you was in the middle of combat or something like that, um, or you may have not possibly completed all the tasks correctly. So, all I advise is, if you haven't seen that pop-up message, just to double-check you have completed them all by going to the Heroes tab, selecting the achievements, and obviously making sure all the easy tasks have a gold tick next to them. If any of them haven't, obviously check which task it was and you obviously have to go about completing the task again. It may be you've just not completed it correctly. So for example, uh, you may have not obtained five artifacts from Pyramid Plunder, only four of them. So obviously that task won't be complete until you've successfully done that. Either way, once all the tasks have been completed, to um, get our rewards we need to speak to Hassan who is in the Alcarid Palace um, to basically finish off these tasks. So teleport back to Alcarid Lodestone and head into the palace and speak to him. So once you find Hassan, speak to him and he'll congratulate you on finishing all the easy tasks and give you the relevant rewards. So well done guys, that is all the desert easy tasks completed. So you would have got an antique lamp which will give you 2000 experience in any skill over level 29, a bit of a random number I know. And you'll also get the desert amulet 1 which gives you the following benefits. So when worn, successfully cutting a Caridian cactus will give you 2 units of water. At all times, the mage training arena prices are lowered by 2%. Sparkly dung cow fights will now drop double loot and a bag of lost items can be claimed once per day from any rug merchant. So the bag of lost items um, when opening rewards the player with items and coins roughly equal to 5,000 coins and that's if the items are sold at a middle price on the Grand Exchange uh, and it's normally a variety of gems, ores and bars, herbs and other items as well. Um, sometimes you might get a fairly rare item but probably not. <laughs> So overall, pretty standard rewards, nothing that exciting, but obviously the main part of completing the easy tasks is now to be able to do the medium tasks and lead them forward to the hard and elite so you can actually start getting better rewards. On that note, when I have made the guide for the medium, hard and elite tasks, you'll be able to uh, watch them by choosing the link in the video description. Uh, they'll have a link provided once I've actually made them. <laughs> um, so yeah, check those out when you are ready to do those tasks. But overall, I don't think you will run into any problems following my guide. However, if you do get stuck at all, then please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out as best I can. If not, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers everyone. Bye bye.